We are back. Yeah. And like I said in the previous episode, this is the clock tower. That's oh, Jill's ass. My. I know, that's a very shapely clock tower. Oh, good. Birds. Hey, look, it's the, uh, is it Big Ben? Is that what they call it? And, um... London? Can, yeah, London. It's Big Ben. Yeah, yeah, Big Ben imported itself into Raccoon City. Did I just dodge without even trying? Yes, you did. Look, that's the bus. It's the trolley. That's the bus. That's a bird. God damn it. And there's one, like, right... I can see it. It's, like, right above my head. Turn it away. Oh, no, it's just smoke. Never mind. It looks like a bird. I think it is a bird. The picture's really dark on this TV. Whoa! I told you, I didn't want to miss out on these. Dang, you got your own herb farm right I got there. my uh, wacky tobacco patch. You could drop those flame rounds. I can't drop them. This isn't Resident Evil Zero. Damn it. I thought you could. That would have been awesome. Instead, I'm just going to mix the shit out of... I'll do that. God, look at you. you. You're just doing drugs now. Look, I study under, under Chi Chen Chong, so... You know what? That's good. Any of you kids out there don't know who Chi Chen Chong is, you best fix that. <laughs> uh, they're not really missing a lot. Get out! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> not missing much. No, they are missing a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, you've obviously never seen a Cheech and Chong movie saying that shit. Mm, actually, no, I never have. I've only seen one all the way through, and it was the first one, Up in Smoke. Good movie. See, I never watched a movie of theirs, but I always hear, like, songs about them. Like, some of my favorite bands always had songs, and they mentioned Cheech and Chong, Smoking Weed with them. The hell what kind of music are you listening to? <laughs> it was Nickelback. Stoner Rock. Wait a minute, Nickelback sang about Cheech and Chong? Yeah. It was, um, uh, what song was it? <laughs> Cheech and Chong. <laughs> no, I can't remember the song, but they were smoking with Cheech and Chong and then in the backyard or something. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been so long since I listened to, listen to Nickelback. <laughs> Once uh, you started listening to good bands, there was no need. Anymore. Yeah. Literally. Can you, can you combine one red or two greens or no? No. Damn it. You know what, I'm... Black and red. Black and red? You can mix... Oh, sorry, blue and red. You can mix and now blue. you're colorblind. Wonderful. Look, you need to go to church. I do. You fucking heathen. Now Look, just... I can finally get the key to Marie's heart at church. Yeah, you're never going to get that. <laughs> She... Uh oh. Spaghetti-o? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you serve it up like that, I can't resist. Yeah, like what happened this morning? You had spaghettios? No, when I said uh oh, you're like, what? Spaghettios. Oh, I always, I always do that shit. Just, you happen to beat me to it. Alright, now I'm actually gonna save because we did a whole bunch of stuff and. I'd really rather not tempt fate fighting uh, Nemesis in that narrow ass hallway. I got damn lucky that he only sucker punched me once. Yeah. He punched Jill in one of her two favorite boobs. What were their names? Chris and Barry. Barry. Did she punch Chris or Barry? That's for you to decide. She calls her asshole Wesker because it's full of shit. That's a good one. And what was that lady's name that Chris always hung out with in the first game? Rebecca. Rebecca. Does she call her... No. No? Okay. Shit. Aww. I'm never good at this. Look at that. They're making love to you. Oh. Well, I always get hit at least once. One of these years I'll get good at the dodging. Maybe. One of these years. I'll be good at the Dodgers. Oh, oh God! Yeah, scared that scared me. Like no, no! Get away from the wall! Sorry, she's kind of stoned right I now. I know she she's stoned to the gills. Mm -hmm. She's gonna queue up some Pink Floyd in a minute. You know that's not bad. Carlos, I don't believe it. 
you're alive. This means I have to give you a rusty trombone, doesn't it? What are you talking about? We made it. We can do it on this dining room table. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. You know, I wonder if you would do it on the dining room table or the floor. Like, which one would he choose? Or if they said, which would I choose? Like, um... Yeah, which one would you choose? Well, it depends. Who am I with? Um, think of the most beautiful person in the world. Everywhere. Okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> like, I don't care where she names it, I'm doing it. Well, I don't know if you saw it, but she slapped the shit out of Carlos. That must be familiar uh, territory for you. It probably turned him on, because it does not turn me on. Yeah, but it turns on the one who's usually slapping the shit out of you. You know, I'd be kind of scared that that was true. It wouldn't surprise me, though. Because sometimes Marie reminds me of that uh, girlfriend in San Andreas. Like, you get in a car crash, she's like, Oh, God, yes! Oh, yes, I remember that. Yeah. Look at uh, those blue herbs. Yeah, but I don't need them right now. Now I get the mind thrower, which is kind of okay, but not particularly great. It is useful in some situations. It basically shoots like little rocket darts. Why not use that? Because it's not that powerful, actually. Really? Yeah, you would think something that shoots like mini missiles would be amazing. It's not. I'd been waiting for years. This was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do uh, hard mode. It's because I'm like, oh, I finally get to use the mind throw because it's amazing in Resident Evil 4. Mm. Actually, I remember the pattern for the other things. So I don't know. That one always trips me. I always forget I can't run through there. Yeah, I'm not able to. Unless you do a um, little slide over the table. Quantum tunneling. Or just slide over the table like a, <laughs> like it's a car in a 70s cop show. That's true. But then the music would go like... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, what if the music was Reno 911s? Then that would be okay. Yeah. Oh, for once there's not fucking spiders in here. Just regular ass zombies. And there goes that piece of brain. Jesus. What a mess. God damn it. This is like you just squished a whole bunch of tomatoes. You just got knocked the fuck up. Yeah, because the when I did my practice run, there were little spiders in here. No. Oh. Which is the perfect time to use the uh, the mine thrower. Because they're little, and it's little darts. It's like... Phew, 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 phew. And because I have the infinite ammo, they're homing. You should try it. Maybe I will. Because I've never seen it before. You should eat some green dust. Why don't you eat my green dust, buddy? You know, if it was real, I would try it. I'm not even going to acknowledge what you've said. Because it was meant to be something... Talking about herbs. I wasn't talking about herbs. Oh. Well, then, no, I would not try that. Yeah. Here, I thought you were talking about the herbs in the no, game. The, er the 11 herbs and spices. I got another key. I can't remember what else is in here. A bed. Um, there's a... Uh, zombies. Yeah. Now oh, you're no, outside. Yeah. Okay, then the zombies are in here when you don't use the emergency break, I guess. Oh, here we go. Alright, I'm just going to demonstrate the, uh, the mine thrower for you. Please do. So you can see how kind of ineffective it is. Okay, it wasn't in effect. Kinda? There. Okay, that's because they're zombies. Holy shit, it took them all out. Okay, so it's good against zombies. There, now I know what it's for. Holy crap. Okay, I'll show you how ineffective it is against the, sp the big spiders. You remember the big spiders from the first one? Oh, I hated those. One. Yeah. The only person who hated them more was Marie. I did not blame her. Well, that's because she has a like, crippling arachnophobia. Oh yeah. That's why I don't want to play. I can't play Ghostbusters with her. I was gonna instead of you, because she's more familiar with Ghostbusters. No, oh, but there's spiders in there. There's a boss that's like half human, half spider. Oh okay. So there's like a woman with a spider body running around, and I'm just like fuck, because the whole fight takes place in this giant spider den. Hmm. There are no other big spiders, just the one. But I, I can't carry the show on my own. 
That is true. So, uh, that was actually Carlos' stomach. God damn, he must be super hungry then. Well, he hasn't eaten anything in days. All he had to subsist on was some MREs and... I don't know if you've ever had an MRE. They're not... Yes, I have. They're not the best. Yeah, see... Two shots. It's not bad. Dude, that's an amazing gun. Not against, like, Nemesis. Well, that's Nemesis. Yeah, but you would think, like, basically a mini... missile launcher would be the perfect gun. Yeah, that's true. And look, he's still moving. He's still alive. Yeah, I'm just using... This is what it's good for, taking on, like, the little mini spiders. Thank you for sitting on my toe, buddy. Oh, you're welcome. It's like, why is there this big squishy thing smashing my toe? Oh, look, you're on top of the clock tower now. Get some Panama Red while I'm at it. I think that's Pineapple Express. No, when you mix it all together and make the brown one, then it's Pineapple Express. That is true. Don't you know anything about weed? No, not really. Okay, then. Oh, I had to get rid of the clock tiki. Aww. Will you discard it? No, yes. I'm gonna hang on to it for no fucking reason. I mean, you don't need it anymore. Might as well yeah, hold on to it. Yeah, but how does she know? That is true. It's just like, oh, you don't need this anymore. How do you know? I could use, I could have used the wrench, beat the shit out of a zombie. What gives you the right? You could have used that key and unlocked Carlos's heart. You never know. All she needs to do is give him that rusty trombone. That'll open his heart right up. Actually, all she needs to do is just, you know, kind of unzip her shirt. And he's like, I am in all the way. Give her a, give him a peek at her strawberry shortcakes back there. Hey, there you go. They're light and fluffy. A lot of meat. Wouldn't that be a meat pie then? I thought you were rubbing your nipple. You were scratching your arm, but your arms were like folded. It's <laughs> like, why are you smiling at me and rubbing your fucking nipple? <laughs> <laughs> you like the rock. You sick freak. <laughs> <laughs> what in the blue hell is wrong with you? Oh, that's the ammo for the uh, mine thrower. No. But since I have infinite ammo, I don't need to bother with that Help. shit. You don't even need it. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. Tired. I was watching Blazing Saddles the other day. Oh, yeah. I saw it on Facebook. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> like, how did he know? All right. We're going to call this an episode because this puzzle is going to take like a minute. So, uh. We'll uh, we'll save it for the next episode. It's very emotionally intense doing this puzzle. Well, how's it emotionally intense? You'll just have to see.